Chris, thank you so much for inviting me over. When I heard food, I said I have to get over here. You so were all in, huh? I wanted to see what's going on, so, oh. so tell me about it. Well, so nice to see you, first of all, because it's been like 35 years, something like that, since we've seen one another. And uh, it's so good to see you, and we've kept track of one another through our corporate endeavors, and now you have your own company? I do. Um, I decided, well, let me start my own company, and I did that and realized that uh, the stress is tremendous. Yeah. And yeah. you too, I understand, you know, you, you came out of the corporate world and... Uh, came out of the corporate world, and now I have Brandcraft U, and sometimes when my husband is going to the store and asks me if I need anything, I say yes an admin, a social media person, <laughs> and I would really like some tech support. Uh, yeah, Thank I, you so much. <laughs> yeah, it's amazing. You can probably relate. Uh, no, the stress out there is incredible. I mean, I, I know that's an issue because I'm eating late and I'm eating a lot. So. Yeah. Long hours can generally equal bad eating. Sounds like that's happening in your it household. Is. It really is. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes it's just nice to take a fresh look at health and vitality and the different modifiable lifestyle factors. Stress management and building resiliency, something that you and I have both, I think, learned a lot about. Maybe I can plan a little bit better for my home food operations so that I'm not having to start thinking about the store at 6.30 p.m. and I can eat you know, a few hours before I'm going to bed so that my digestive system isn't taxed and my body's able to really rest and repair at night. All right, Chris, so listen, are we gonna eat some of this stuff? What are, what are we gonna do here? Well, I hope you don't tell me that you don't eat salads. No, no, I love salads. I okay. pretty much eat anything, that might be the problem. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, so I thought that we could start with a salad. And I love that you are wearing shorts that are the same color as the salmon that I chose to have as our protein for this salad today. Got it. So it's all about those beautiful colors and how they come together. Mm. And so I just thought that, you know, we can take this palette here and just throw together um, a salad. All right, I'm hungry. You need some help? Okay, we're gonna do the salad. And um, what I have here is some sweet baby greens lettuce. All good with you? It looks good, this looks delicious. Look at all those different greens and purples and... Well listen, even with these colorful ingredients, in my past, whenever I've tried to do this, I still come out with a dark brown, black coloring. <laughs> so I'm interested to see where this thing goes. Dark brown salad, how are you <laughs> yeah. so creative that uh, you are getting there? Lots of sauce, lots of dressing. Oh, okay. That's what I do a lot of. I, whenever I cook, I end up, you know, I think I'm mixing the good guys with the bad guys. Ah, gotcha, gotcha. You're negating the benefit of the good guys because of all right, the bad guys. Right. Well, one of the approaches that I use for my salads is I just use a little bit of pink salt, lemon juice, because it's got great nutrients, right? This Himalayan pink salt, um, lemon juice and olive oil. And that I douse that after I've gotten done putting together my sort of palette. You're familiar with bell peppers, radishes. Yeah, although I didn't know they came in three colors, but um, that's beautiful. Well, they come in more, but oh, they yeah, do. we okay. kept it to three. I just want to tell you, my go-to bell pepper is the green one. Okay, yeah. that's great. So you like the green, and you know, as I'm about to put red and orange and yellow on there, but you know what? Again, it goes back to my DNA as an artist. I'm an artist at heart, and I love the color. Color just does something for me, right? It just moves me, and I love these vibrant colors of nature. And so I always choose to get some color in. So these are pumpkin seeds. Mm. Green also. Okay, good. You seem to be very happy yeah. with that color. So it's interesting you were talking about green because green is the color of the phyto, the six phytonutrients categories that is the easiest to get, right? It's the most abundant out there. It's easiest and people, it's also the one that people are always talking about. Oh, I'm not getting enough green stuff in. I'm not doing my kale smoothies. Well, it's not just about the greens, right? It's about the balance, the balance of colors, just trying getting different things and have fun with it. And you can play with it, right? And, you know, a lot of people don't put on nuts and seeds and things like that on their salads. I happen to like them a lot. I like the different textures. I like the crunch. I'm glad you kept those radishes to the right. They don't agree with me. Okay. All right. <laughs> so we'll keep those radishes away. And how do you feel about medjool dates? I love them. Okay. They're, they're one of my favorites. 
They yeah, are a beautiful I, ingredient. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna top it off with some protein. We're gonna top it off with some poached salmon that just has a little bit of pink salt, so it's super clean. And add in some black sesame seeds. And again, because you know, I need that little bit of different contrast. So you got your black, you oh, got good. your kind of, there's some waiting. gray in there too, and there's brown. So right. you should be very comfortable eating this salad. <laughs> I, I like it, I like it. You weren't kidding when you talked about art. I look at that salad and I, I, it looks too good to eat. Oh my gosh, well thank you so much. I will take that as a huge compliment because I love the colors and I love the vibrancy and I just want to inspire health and vitality. So now I will dress it. Is this your dressing? This or is my dressing. Okay. So I'm not going to add like, what is yeah. your favorite dressing? Uh, Ken's. Ken's. Ken's okay. Italian. Yeah. Ken's Italian. Yeah. So you might want to put together like a make your own or something that is, and I'm not sure how clean Ken's ingredients are, mm -hmm. but you can put together a little olive oil and lemon juice or a little vinegar and uh, different spices, maybe a little honey uh, to get a little bit of sweetness on there. And you know, you just pop it on there, um, mix it up and just enjoy, super clean. Uh, we just really wanna have food that's as clean as possible, the least processing with the least fillers and as clean ingredients as we can. This salad really looks tremendous, and I can't wait to see what you have planned for the main course. Well, you grew up on Key Biscayne. You have to love seafood, and I know you like the salmon. Uh, I have the perfect main dish for us. I love seafood. I can't wait. Great. It's a wild shrimp and clam sauce, and it's all swanked up with lots of good guys. And the shrimp also has a little bit of that color. Oh, <laughs> that's good. That's good. That's good. <laughs>